Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Nuria, and this is my crafting journey. We're gonna pick up another hobby. I decided I don't have enough projects, and I bought a punch needle. How many coasters I can make in eight hours. I've never punched needle before. First things first, I want to try it out with some thread that I have at home. <gasps> is this a moth? Let me Google how moths look like. There was a caterpillar. Right. Thank you! What am I supposed to do now? Anyway, I want to use the yarn I have at home before I buy any more yarn and see exactly what weight I need. Oh, wow! Okay, I have more than what I expected. This is yarn for socks. What I was thinking about was more this type of weight. They are kind of the same. The only problem is that one is cotton, I think, and the other one is a mix between wool and nylon. We're gonna do some tests. We have a hoop, some fabric. You know, two days ago, I already picked up a new hobby. Sashiko, a friend from my knitting club, knows how to do it and she loves it and she taught us. Watch. Look at this. I made it. And where did my head go straight away? Oh, I should do one of these for each person that comes to my wedding. Thank God. Owen said, no, I still might try though. You're coming to my wedding though? Forget I said anything because probably they won't be there. Or will they? Okay, needles. A lot of things in these needles. Looks very thin though. Chup is my best friend. Shh, you're too fast. <laughs> now I pull. The needle has been threaded. Oh, the fun part. Why is this happening? My needle goes off. Let's watch another video. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I kind of got the hang of it. Look at this. This is the back. And, and I'm gonna try with another yarn. I think this fabric is good. I'm wondering, I have another fabric that maybe it's also good. This is very thick linen. The fabric is too thick and it pushes my needle back, you see? Next step is going to be decide the colors that I have to buy. Because of course I chose the yarn that I don't have. I made a Pinterest board and I have different ideas. First one is fruits. Second one would be retro uh, thingies that go on the bottles. Third one would be, I don't know how they're called. I'm back and I brought goodies. Eh? My plan, I want to have the best color palette in the world. This is going to be my frame. I can make six in one of these. Cut the fabric. Now let's see which designs we would like to make. I have my six fruits. So now I have to get rid of this. I didn't do such a bad job after all. Some of the staples are wobbly. I'm gonna start with the avocado and we need these colors. Well, that was smooth. I've done only <laughs> four circles and my arm is so painful with my circles. See how it's not the best of the jobs? This is the back. I'm done with the avocado. It only took me like an hour. This is the back and this is the front. Huh? My needle has these different numbers and it's how long you want your needle to go, so how big this loop is going to be. And at the beginning, I did it around four, and here it's around six. And when I have it at six, it's way easier. <laughs> I have it on one Which one is next? Let's do the lemon. We're 
we're done with the lemon slash orange and I'm gonna go get something to drink because I want to move my legs. You know, for years I've been trying to convince myself that I don't like sugar and I think it's time for me to accept I need sugar to survive because I don't drink coffee and I need something to get me going. I think one of these days I'm gonna try and make ginger beer. Look at the ice cubes we have in my house. But I need sugar to get through everything I want to do in my list. All the videos I want to do by the end of the month, let's say by the end of April. Fix all my pants foundation pattern. Make the video about the jeans foundation comparison. My cousin is getting married and I have to make a dress. My best friend's wedding dress. And someone said on my shorts to make an Easter dress. So I said, why not? So I added it to the list. I want to make a jasmine dress, I want to make a cinderella dress because jasmine was supposed to be for March but I haven't done it. I want to make the coasters video, a scraps video because I've been making a lot of prototypes for the pants videos and I want to reuse them and make something nice out of them. And I want to make a video for things in the kitchen, I want to make a video about making curtains. There are three babies being born next month and I'm making presents for all of them. And then Owen added exercise to my list. You know which one I'm not gonna do, right? <laughs> and that's why I need sugar. Let's go make some more coasters. I want to make a strawberry. Looks a bit like a vagina. <laughs> strawberry is done. I don't know if it really looks like a strawberry. We have these three done. I think making one takes me approximately 45 minutes, something like that. Next one, we're gonna make a kiwi. Oh, my arm. I have the feeling people use thicker thread and bigger needles. Is that possible? It's 6.20 and I have four done. I've been here four hours and I haven't even glued them and got them or anything. Now that I'm a master at this punch needling thing, I can teach you all the knowledge that I've gained. You put it here, so it goes from the back to the front, and then you put it inside on the other side. Open the threader and put it through. And then I'm gonna pull from here. And it's gonna be like, and that's it. My needle has been threaded. I'm using a 2.2 punch needle, length six. And then for the yarn, I'm using for needles between 2.5 and 3.5 that I guess it's fingering, right? Okay, we have it like this with this little thing on the top. This is the back. And then where you have the loops is the front. Go to the back, draw your thing. So here I have my future watermelon. And you're going to, you're gonna push it all the way. See, you have here. I pull the thread on this side. You see that the needle has an angle. It should always be this angle. You always put it like that inside here. Always following the same angle and always having a lot of slack here. You push it till the end and that's it. I'll finish the watermelon and I'll go for a run. I have back pain, I have arm pain and I cannot stay concentrated. I'm almost done with the watermelon. Okay, I'm done with the watermelon. This is the front. I'm gonna go for a run, because I have pain everywhere. Don't worry, I don't plan on running for a long time. This is proof that I'm running. I was listening to High School Musical and I run too fast and <laughs> I'm exhausted. Dinner and finish the coasters. 
a little bit more relaxed just because my neighbor upstairs is back so if anything happens I can scream and she can come We're gonna do an inspection on Nuria's first couple of hours A couple of hours? <laughs> it has been five hours Eight hours are done I could do two more in these two hours that I had in the end, we got a total of seven in eight hours. I'm not sure I'm happy with those results. If you can make them faster, please let me know how. It's the next day. I did two more. I was starting to do a third one, but then my punch needle kept breaking. Whenever I push and then I pull and then the needle gets removed. I'm going to stop and I'm going to finish. I'm done, I have them all cut. This is how they look in the back. I was trying to do kind of a blanket stitch here. I think they look better, but it takes forever. I might do it, but I'll do it off camera. So that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed them and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.